I really wanted to vlog me turning 25. <laughs> And we're going out to pick some daffodils. It's my birthday too. I wanted to make a really fun birthday cake. It was a blackberry lavender pistachio cake. I absolutely love, I love Easter. I love spring, so I love Easter. We also are gonna have lemon coconut bars. What a zestful day. Out here creating a very zestful day. Ciao, welcome back to my channel. I promised I would stop vlogging, and I'm going to stop vlogging <laughs> for the rest of May, maybe even all of June. Nothing but recipe videos, pinky promise. I just love vlogging, and I specifically love it because it, it's a way to document the happiest memories in my life. I really wanted to vlog me turning 25. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Yeah. So I did not wear the right shoes or the outfit. And we're going out to pick some daffodils because it is April 15th and the daffodils are just blossoming. So, you know, it's a very small little picking. How we doing? How we doing? Guys, I've totally destroyed my shoes. We're off to a really good start. But at least I have coffee and my mom and flowers. I mean, so, so many pros and cons. What do we focus on? all the daffodils. I really didn't pick any. She's much better at picking. She loves to pick. She likes to be a little farm girl. Look at the mud. We definitely got some mud. Mm. And now we're gonna go on to our next birthday adventure. But I'm just so blessed and so happy to finally, after two years, be able to spend my birthday with my mom on her birthday. What a zestful day. Out here creating a very zestful day. Next on the birthday agenda, we are sitting in a parking lot. Don't say this is part of the birthday agenda. It's part of the ramps. birthday agenda to get agenda to get ramps. Um, but no one will know what they are. So we came here early. Is what the deal is. We came because they only have ramps today. Mom thinks they're gonna sell out. We thought they were open at ten. They don't open till noon. It's eleven forty-three. So we're camping out in front of the nice little farmers market indoor thing because we need ramps and we can't have them sell out so we're just gonna let them sit in the car and cook in the car while we do all our errands today. Well, that's a dumb idea. And... Say it's your birthday! It's my birthday too! Oh! I, think, I didn't know that! That's why I, wanted to, that's why I was gonna play it. I was so we'll do cute. that later, that'll be cute. Well, no, that was cute. No, I want it. No, I don't want all of that in there. Well, it can't be because I can only have 10 seconds or else I get copyrighted. Right, let's do it again. Let's do it again. <laughs> Say it's your birthday. You're gonna have a good day. I feel as though we're about to be told you can come inside. Mom. Oh, okay. Hello. We, we didn't want to be rude. Delicious, delicious lunch. Um, we ate a lot of food. <laughs> we had pimento cheese. Mom wanted that. And then we split a fish sandwich. I ate the whole salad and ate half of the pizza. And now we need a little, little tiny bite of chocolate before we walk around. I'm gonna go get my Sephora, my Sephora birthday treat. So we're gonna look around and then we're gonna go eat some cake.
it was such an ordinary day but it was still also so special i wanted to make a really fun birthday cake it was one of the best cakes i've ever tasted i've ever made it was such a delicious cake it was a blackberry lavender pistachio cake amazing so good with like a mascarpone frosting because i kind of don't love like a thick frosting i like kind of like a light and fluffy frosting so it just really hit the spot and it was beautiful and it was a total success of a cake the frosting was kind of weird in the sense that when i went to go frost it it kind of wasn't fluffy anymore it kind of turned liquidy but then once it hardened in the fridge it created like a nice fluffy frosting layer so it's kind of hard to work with i don't know i think i'm gonna finally give up on mascarpone frosting because i tried to make mascarpone frosting last year which was a failure and then this past birthday i tried again and it did much better but it still wasn't a perfect frosting so i don't know unless i don't know if any of you are bakers and have ever made mascarpone frosting but i don't know or icing or whatever it is I don't, I don't know why it just keeps failing but anyways the cake still turned out delicious i also loved the other birthday cake that we picked up it's called a daffodil cake it was an orange angel food cake and it was also delicious so we also had that for our birthdays because i love that cake too and yeah super simple i didn't even like want to throw a party or anything because i just i just didn't want to do anything super special this year i'm gonna i'm just i feel like i'm in like a lay low point in my life right now kind of want to keep life like not over complicated and not too crazy right now like that's just kind of where i am and that just goes into what i've said several times about the mediterranean lifestyle and you know creating a zestful day doesn't always mean you're over the top positive or life is always absolutely incredibly amazing creating a zestful day is kind of just making the best of life and keeping your life balanced and sometimes you know balance being imbalanced means you're balanced because you know you can't be perfect all the time or else there's no such thing as balance because perfection needs to be balanced with imperfection so life needs to be imperfect if you want does that make sense i've said it a million times but this is this channel is truly about the mediterranean lifestyle i'm just focusing on recipes right now to help my channel grow um so i can keep trying to build this business but the part of the mediterranean lifestyle that just is is crucial is kind of everything i did on my birthday which is kind of funny it's your community first and foremost your community and i spent it with um my mom which was incredible i saw my family on easter sunday which was more like we where we also celebrated my birthday a little bit too on saturday i went out with friends on monday i went out with friends so it's kind of just like i guess that's the best way to describe it is just community i mean there's no better blessing no better birthday gift than getting to spend extra time with my community people and then get outside which is what we did we definitely got outside moved our bodies walked around in the beautiful sunshine got to pick flowers <laughs> which i mean was kind of not the best idea but it was still something so fun and i know it's so like you'd think i'm turning 25 i should like be in the club and i mean i literally came home from the day that i had with my mom and i was on tiktok for i think an hour and a half just scrolling on tiktok because it was the first night of coachella or the first day of coachella so i was feeling like oh my god i'm 25 years old i just had the lamest birthday ever i spent the day with my mom i went to go pick flowers but like embrace who you are i felt pretty lame for a moment there but i'm actually super grateful looking back at how my birthday happened so my favorite holiday was on the same weekend as my birthday so i was a very lucky girl absolutely love I love Easter. I love spring, so I love Easter. It's it's the best. Oh, the post-workout jams hit. You know that like endorphins you get post-workout, you like just feel so much better than you did going in. That's me right now because I didn't really want to go, but I went. Let me put my headphones away because I'm blasting EDM right now. <laughs> um, hello, good morning. It is Easter Sunday. I woke up, did some reading, finally finally prioritizing myself and it feels terrible and I feel guilty and I felt like I should have ate breakfast and immediately done like two hours worth of editing but instead I started reading a book and I'm enthralled and now all I want to do is read the book for the rest of the day which I can't do because it's Easter so I can't read the rest of the day but I forgot this feeling of being enthralled in a different world and not spending an hour on TikTok and spending an hour in a book and it's lovely and it's wonderful and I'm so proud of myself but yet I also am still working through the guilt so that's something random I thought I'd share but anyways I just want to do a little little glutes and core full body 
kind of low weight, more higher reps kind of workout. I haven't shown you guys my workouts for a while because I just feel like you guys aren't really interested. I mean, I'm so passionate about working out, but I also don't think you have to go to a gym. So I don't always like to show going to a gym because you don't have to go to a gym. You just got to move around. You know, it's part of creating a zestful day. Just move your body. Get some, you know, you get your heart pumping, your blood flowing, all that good stuff. So anyways, I have to go back now, um, throw some dry shampoo in this greasy hair because <laughs> I'm not washing it again. Who has time to wash and recurl all of this? No, no, no. Just some dry shampoo, definitely. Throw on a pretty dress and some makeup and get ready for Easter mass. I have to finish so much for today's Easter lunch. My mom and I are doing the whole thing and I have made four desserts. I have overwhelmed myself because I'm Caroline and I can't keep things simple. Well, there are four desserts. My mom's incredibly beautiful Easter happy decorated cookies. She is the queen of decorated cookies. I made a carrot cake. I need to finish the final frosting layer of the carrot cake before we leave for church. Oh, and I need a latte. And then we also are going to have lemon coconut bars. I kept those in the fridge at my aunt's house and forgot them because that's where I made them. So I'm excited to see how they turned out. frost some malt brownies that I made with malt frosting and then I have these malt balls that look like little Easter eggs or like just little colored eggs in general so I'm gonna crush those all on top and make it a little bit more vibrant so we have something chocolate something lemony and something carroty uh, traditionally and cookies so I think for all five of us <laughs> that's the only people coming for all five of us we have plenty of a selection so this is my by far my favorite holiday so let's go enjoy it talked about getting ramps which is just wild garlic a leafy leafy green 
like looks like almost like a green onion at the bottom but they're really delicious so my mom made this incredible ramp butter and coated pasta in it so that was our easter meal along with lamb and some bread and then i made the vegetable dish of course veggie queen over here it was a delicious basically the preserved lemon vinaigrette that i had just made in one of my last meal prep videos it was that take out the preserved lemons and then i just tossed that all with the the green beans and the peas and all of that so it was a super delicious my mom was like wait you're just putting like vinaigrette on a bunch of vegetables it was so loved everyone actually even the non-veggie eaters in our family picked up those vegetables for like a second time so i was actually super happy with myself that <laughs> people liked the veggie dish because that's always my goal is to get people to try to like the veggie dish so the food was delicious on easter and it just made my heart so full so happy so grateful and the last thing i want to say because i have been listening i have totally been listening to you guys any comment you share with me whether it's on you know youtube or on instagram which by the way a little announcement i am making a whole entire just food page on instagram called caroline's kalina kalina means kitchen in the house of like an ancient rome roman house so i thought it was perfect for me being roman um so anyways i have been listening to you guys i make lists of all the things you suggest all the recipes you want to or video ideas any questions you have i have a lot of lot of lists and i plan to tackle them right now or in a few months or even in a year depending on my circumstances when i can better you know address a lot of your questions so don't stop asking questions don't stop leaving suggestions ideas i love them they are so so helpful so any questions any thoughts any things you want to share with me i'm here to talk here to chat here to listen i'm just i feel like i'm talking to my friends right now but thank you so 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 much for watching this video i really really hope you got some kind of value out of it i hope you enjoyed and until next time i hope you create a successful day Thank you.